We are back, girl. I drove another two plus hours over here in Vista, California at Succulents Mario because ooh, I've been seeing that he's got some harder to find Hoyas, Discadias, Seropegias. I love all of those, okay? If you've been with me for a while, you know I love my hanging and my trailing plants, but this time is gonna be a little bit different, I think, or at least I hope, that we get a chance to take a look at what's coming up here, what's gonna be selling soon. So we're gonna get a behind the scenes, what's, you know, to come tour of the back, of the back house of the store. I don't know. We're gonna get a behind the scenes tour basically. So yeah, are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. What's <laughs> happening? If you are ever wondering where all the variegated string of hearts are, girl, look no further because I found them. They are all right here at this small family-owned nursery. And this back area is where they propagate all of the beautiful variegated string of hearts. Yes, those were all variegated string of hearts, some silver glories, also string of needles, string of everything. I can't wait to show you all of these. I am so excited. But where I really want to take you is in the back, back area. So it's kind of like the back of the back where all of the hard to find, exotic, really cute Hoyas are, Discadias, and I don't know. I just saw a lot of the things. So um, I'm going to move from here because I keep, <laughs> I keep getting hit by these. So we're going to go right back there. We're gonna go ahead and get started right over here at the cute little Hoya section. I love Hoyas and I know you do too. I'm seeing such cute Hoyas right now. Here we've got, which one is this? Rotundi, Rotundifolia. I know you know what these are called. Hoya Rotundifolia with this really unique shaped leaves. I love these ones. Let me show you one up close. Take a look at this super cute Hoya with its really unique shape leaves. They're kind of like, what's that shape? Oblong? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Rectangle, kind of like a stumpy rectangle. They've got that classic Hoya thick succulent-ish shape and these are really adorable. Um, I've only seen one of these in real life and there <laughs> there wasn't as much as this. So one thing to keep in mind is these will be going for sale soon. I know he wants to make sure that they have a really good system when they hit your house. You don't want to get them and they're not rooted or they're not, you know, they're not good. So these are coming soon, okay? Just the FYI. Which one is this one? Mathilde? Matilda, look how cute it is. These guys are so cute, and I think that was the um, Hoya Numelarioides. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, but let's go right over here because I've actually been wanting one of these and I've never seen one in person. Look at this Discadia Numelaria or the Dragon Jade, which is super unique i have never seen anything like this before it almost looks like like a bunch of peas clumped up together right <laughs> let's take a look at one up close this is really cool you know i thought the hoya compacta hindu rope was really unique it doesn't compare to this discadia dishidia numelaria dragon jade it looks like little peas or mini green apples all bunched together again i'm gonna say it because it literally looks like little butts if you look closer these look like little butts, okay? So again, these are <laughs> these are coming soon. So when you come back and check over here if they are ready, maybe they'll be ready when you come back. I don't know, who knows? And check this out. Here we've got a Hoya Croyana or Super Eskimo Silver. Are they the same thing? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like sometimes Hoyas start to look the same to me. I still love them <laughs> though, but they're all right here, all really cute and silvery, very, very speckled, very like frosty, you know, super cute. You know, I think he's still waiting for these to root up and be ready, so um, hopefully soon. I know we love a good variegated Hoya Carii. Look at this. That's beautiful. I haven't seen one like this in a long time. For the most part, when I'm seeing them, they're just one leaf. 
um, but this this one's really cute another um, variegated carry eye this one's the different this is the inverted variegation where it's not an outline of white or yellow but the yellow white is inside super cool and look at this so many beautiful Hoyas but I have to show you one that I've actually been looking for it's right over there actually let me show you these first Oh my gosh, take a look at this before I go and show you the one that I want for myself. This is the Hoya Kenan Gianna, I think. Look at this. It's super unique. Like, look at those leaves. They're kind of wrinkly. <laughs> Very cute. The variegation inside is really, really unique. I believe this is pretty hard to find. Kenan Gianna. Look at this really unique leaf shape kind of wavy i think it's supposed to look like that right again i've never seen a hoya like this so this is very unique to me very cool and oh my gosh hold on you know what this is with this beautiful dark almost black bluish veins same color as my veins beautiful large leaves Look at that, it's climbing on that little, little stake right there. And this one, this Hoya Calistophylla, I remember seeing this a really long time ago and fell in love with it because of the veins. You know I love veins, right? Look at this. This is so pretty. I am just looking at this, imagining how it would look if it was, you know, huge, if it was, you know, if it was out in the wild. Do you ever think about that? Do you ever look at Hoyas or any other plants and think, hmm, how would this look in the wild, right? Probably not as good as this. <laughs> okay, check this out. What? They look, they literally look like just twigs, just sticks, except Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna be very careful. Can you even focus? Focus. Anyways, what my camera is not doing is trying to, I'm trying to show you a peduncle. This is very unique. It's literally a piece of grass or a stick that's sticking out of a pot. And you know what? I love it. Can you imagine going home to your roommate, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend and say, honey, look at my new plant and he's looking at it like what is that a stick yes i was really curious as to how all of this came about so i asked hernan where they were where he and his family was before this and things were really really bad they just had to make it work for their two children and we'll just hear it from him before I used to, well, I used to work for this uh, nursery, right? And I went back to my old, like an old job. Yeah, to okay. My old job. Uh huh. And uh, over there, I broke my back. I was completely out for like six months. I couldn't walk. My wife, you know what? Well, let's just start our own stuff. We wanted to build something for for ourselves and for our kids. So, but I couldn't work at that time, so it was just her. She used to make the tables. She used to carry the blocks, uh, and I felt bad because I couldn't help her because because uh, I because of my back injury. So, oh. And so I wasn't helping her at all. Like, yeah. At all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You want to so, be a partner, yeah. you know, contribute. And, uh, yeah. And I feel like useless because I couldn't help her. Like so, she basically started like a, all this. All the string of hearts. Yeah. She started it. She knew that it was gonna be, yeah. it was gonna be good. Oh. Her and then my brother-in-law. Okay. Who, I mean, both of them, they help us out. It was, it was bad. I couldn't work. She didn't have a job. So before people, they wouldn't buy from us. Like oh. nothing. And I was like, what are we gonna do? You know, like yeah. We offered to so many people our plants, and nobody wanted them. And now, <laughs> yeah, they wanna buy everything now. I mean, it's it's still a long story, a sad story, and a happy story. Yeah. But right now, we're all happy right now. Oh. We're happy to be here now. Hernan's story almost made me cry. To go from where they were to where they're at now is so amazing. I love that he shared that with me. And there's still a couple more things that I am really excited to show you. So, let's go back. 
take a look at this beautiful sea of philodendron micans, one of my favorites with their beautiful velvety bronzy leaves. They're soft, they're buttery. These are so beautiful and healthy. Ah, oh, I love the slight veins. I love the buttery velvety leaves. They're just so delicate. Like every time you add a philodendron micans or anything like this in a room, it just softens up the look a little bit. And they're just so, so pretty. Philodendron lovers, I did not forget about you because look at this philodendron pink princess. I don't think this one is for sale or I'm not sure, but i um, almost positive it's not for sale. Take a look at this one. Isn't this cute? Look at these full pink leaves. Look at that one. And then it looks like we have a new growth right there, which looks like it's going to be another full pink leaf. That's amazing. And check this out, how that dark greenish brown is blending or not even blending that contrast within that pink. That's amazing. And here I'll show you all the other much rare plants that we've got back here. This might be the personal collection, Hernan's personal collection. Let's take a look. We've got your albos right over here. Um, another teeny pink princess. White wizard, I think? Hmm. I don't know, okay? And look, Tradescantia Nanux. I love Nanux. They're so so beautiful and so easy except mine's turning crunchy and brown <laughs> I don't know why I love that combo of pink and green it's so nice and they have the cutest little uh, flowers they're like orangish whitish really really cute of course I had to show you this even though I know we are seeing them in a lot of places right now which I'm not mad at I love that these are uh, readily available if you could even find one but here is another super cute these are so cute for real like i just want to bite them i think they're so adorable because honestly the ones here are some of the best string of turtles i've seen if you saw that last video that i did here the string of turtles that i showed had little rat tail flowers and they were much fuller pots and that was before all of these string of turtles hit the market and there's a few more here really cute too honestly some of the best ones i've seen um for pepperonia prostratas it's actually so peaceful back here right now it's very quiet i'm not really hearing anything but the sound the gentle hum of a fan some dogs barking far away but it's so nice to just be around here it does make me feel kind of like you know like we're touring um some Seropegia Hoya Duscadia rainforest and it's really really nice Ooh, I want to show you something that I don't normally see so this ladies and gentlemen <laughs> is a Seropegia Seropegia orange river very reminiscent of a string of hearts except it's got a unique shape it's almost like arrow like arrowhead like very unique and the markings are a bit different there's more over there and what's what's unique is that it's it looks a little bit different from each other so let me show you the other ones take a look at this one as you can see the shape of the leaves is a little bit more prominent more arrowhead like if we look at these guys there's like no silverish markings on them so it's very unique i don't really see this a lot this is growing beautifully here i've never seen this before uh orange river seropegia orange river look at this one oh my gosh so i picked this out out of the bunch because look at this look how highly variegated it is it's so yellow it is the different one it is the most unique one out of the bunch actually they're all really cool but what can you see is the camera picking it up super bright yellow it is picking it up in the middle i love it but all of these are amazing 
I hope you enjoyed this tour. Um, if you want to see any other videos just like this, click and tap anywhere on the screen. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next Bijo Girl. Bye.